and they fell by the hand of David, and by the hand of his servants. 1 Chronicles 21 And Satan stood up against Israel, and provoked David to number Israel. And David said to Job and to the rulers of the people, Go, number Israel from Beersheba even to Dan and bring the number of them to me, that I may know it. And Job answered, The Lord make his people an hundred times so many more as they be, but, my lord the king, are they not all my lord's servants? Why then doth my lord require this thing? Why will he be a cause of trespass to Israel? Nevertheless the king's word prevailed against Job. Wherefore Job departed, and went throughout all Israel, and came to Jerusalem. And Job gave the sum of the number of the people unto David. And all they of Israel were a thousand thousand and an hundred thousand men that drew sword. And Judah was four hundred three score and ten thousand men that drew sword. But Levi and Benjamin counted he not among them, for the king's word was abominable to Job. And God was displeased with this thing. Therefore he smote Israel, and David said unto God, I have sinned greatly, because I have done this thing. But now, I beseech thee, do away the iniquity of thy servant. For I have done very foolishly. And the Lord spake unto Gad, David's seer, saying, Go and tell David, saying, Thus saith the Lord, I offer thee three things, choose thee one of them, that I may do it unto thee. So Gad came to David, and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Choose thee, either three years famine, or three months to be destroyed before thy foes, while that the sword of thine enemies overtaketh thee. Or else three days the sword of the Lord, even the pestilence, in the land, and the angel of the Lord destroying throughout all the coasts of Israel. Now therefore advise thyself what word I shall bring again to him that sent me. And David said unto Gad, I am in a great strait, let me fall now into the hand of the Lord. For very great are his mercies, but let me not fall into the hand of man. So the Lord sent pestilence upon Israel, and there fell of Israel seventy thousand men. And God sent an angel unto Jerusalem to destroy it. And as he was destroying, the Lord beheld, and he repented him of the evil, and said to the angel that destroyed, It is enough, stay now thine hand. And the angel of the Lord stood by the threshing floor of Ornan the Jebusite. And David lifted up his eyes, and saw the angel of the Lord stand between the earth and the heaven, having a drawn sword in his hand stretched out over Jerusalem. Then David and the elders of Israel, who were clothed in sackcloth, fell upon their faces. And David said unto God, Is it not I that commanded the people to be numbered? Even I it is that have sinned and done evil indeed. But as for these sheep, what have they done? Let thy hand, I pray thee, O Lord my God, be on me, and on my father's house but not on thy people, that they should be plagued. Then the angel of the Lord commanded Gad to say to David, that David should go up, and set up an altar unto the Lord in the threshing floor of Ornan the Jebusite. And David went up at the saying of Gad, which he spake in the name of the Lord. And Ornan turned back, and saw the angel, and his four sons with him hid themselves. Now Ornan was threshing wheat. And as David came to Ornan, Ornan looked and saw David, and went out of the threshing floor, and bowed himself to David with his face to the ground. Then David said to Ornan, Grant me the place of this threshing floor, that I may build an altar therein unto the Lord. Thou shalt grant it me for the full price, that the plague may be stayed from the people. And Ornan said unto David, Take it to thee, and let my lord the king do that which is good in his eyes. Lo, I give thee the oxen also for burnt offerings, and the threshing instruments for wood, and the wheat for the meat offering. I give it all. And King David said to Ornan, Nay. But I will verily buy it for the full price, for I will not take that which is thine for the Lord, nor offer burnt offerings without cost. So David gave to Ornan for the place six hundred shekels of gold by weight, and David built there an altar unto the Lord, and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings, and called upon the Lord. And he answered him from heaven by fire upon the altar of burnt offering, and the Lord commanded the angel. And he put up his sword again into the sheath thereof. At that time when David saw that the Lord had answered him in the threshing floor of Ornan the Jebusite, then he sacrificed there, for the tabernacle of the Lord, which Moses made in the wilderness, and the altar of the burnt offering, were at that season in the high place at Gibeon. But David could not go before it to inquire of God, for he was afraid because of the sword of the angel of the Lord. 1 Chronicles 22 Then David said, This is the house of the Lord God, and this is the altar of the burnt offering for Israel. And David commanded to gather together the strangers that were in the land of Israel. And he set masons to hew rod stones to build the house of God. And David prepared iron in abundance for the nails for the doors of the gates, and for the joinings. And brass in abundance without weight. Also cedar trees in abundance, for the Zidonians and they of Tyre brought much cedar wood to David. And David said, Solomon my son is young and tender, and the house that is to be builded for the Lord must be exceeding magnifical, of fame and of glory throughout all countries. I will therefore now make preparation for it. So David prepared abundantly before his death. Then he called for Solomon his son, and charged him to build an house for the Lord God of Israel. And David said to Solomon, My son, as for me, it was in my mind to build an house unto the name of the Lord my God. But the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Thou hast shed blood abundantly, and hast made great wars. Thou shalt not build an house unto my name, because thou hast shed much blood upon the earth in my sight. Behold, a son shall be born to thee, who shall be a man of rest. And I will give him rest from all his enemies round about, for his name shall be Solomon. And I will give peace and quietness unto Israel in his days. He shall build an house for my name. And he shall be my son, and I will be his father. And I will establish the throne of his kingdom over Israel forever. Now, my son, the Lord be with thee. And prosper thou, and build the house of the Lord thy God, as he hath said of thee. Only the Lord give thee wisdom and understanding, and give thee charge concerning Israel, that thou mayest keep the law of the Lord thy God. Then shalt thou prosper, if thou tackest he to fulfill the statutes and judgments which the Lord charged Moses with concerning Israel. Be strong, and of good courage. Dread not, nor be dismayed. Now, behold, in my trouble I have prepared for the house of the Lord an hundred thousand talents of gold, and a thousand thousand talents of silver. 
and of brass and iron without weight. For it is in abundance, timber also and stone have I prepared. And thou must add thereto, moreover there are workmen with thee in abundance, hewers and workers of stone and timber, and all manner of cunning men for every manner of work, of the gold, the silver, and the brass, and the iron, there is no number, arise therefore, and be doing, and the Lord be with thee. David also commanded all the princes of Israel to help Solomon his son, saying, Is not the Lord your God with you? And hath he not given you rest on every side? For he hath given the inhabitants of the land into mine hand. And the land is subdued before the Lord, and before his people. Now set your heart and your soul to seek the Lord your God. Arise therefore, and build ye the sanctuary of the Lord God, to bring the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and the holy vessels of God, into the house that is to be built in the name of the Lord. 1 Chronicles 23 So when David was old and full of days, he made Solomon his son king over Israel, and he gathered together all the princes of Israel, with the priests and the Levites. Now the Levites were numbered from the age of thirty years and upward, and their number by their poles, man by man, was thirty and eight thousand, of which twenty and four thousand were to set forward the work of the house of the Lord. And six thousand were officers and judges, moreover four thousand were porters. And four thousand praised the Lord with the instruments which I made, said David, to praise therewith. And David divided them into courses among the sons of Levi, namely, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. Of the Gershonites were, Laden, and Shimei, the sons of Laden. The chief was Jehiel, and Zethim, and Joel, three, the sons of Shimei. Shelemith, and Haziel, and Haran, three, these are the chief of the fathers of Laden, and the sons of Shimei were, Jahath, Zena, and Jush, and Bariah, these four were the sons of Shimei, and Jahath was the chief, and Ziza the second, but Jush and Bariah had not many sons. Therefore they were in one reckoning, according to their father's house, the sons of Kohath, Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uzziel, four, the sons of Amram. Aaron and Moses, and Aaron was separated, that he should sanctify the most holy things, he and his sons forever, to burn incense before the Lord, to minister unto him, and to bless in his name forever. Now concerning Moses the man of God, his sons were named of the tribe of Levi, the sons of Moses were, Gershom, and Eliezer, of the sons of Gershom, Shebuel was the chief, and the sons of Eliezer were, Rehabiah the chief, and Eliezer had none other sons. But the sons of Rehabiah were very many, of the sons of Izhar, Shelemi the chief, of the sons of Hebron. Jeriah the first, Amaria the second, Jahaziel the third, and Jechamim the fourth, of the sons of Uzziel. Misha the first, and Josiah the second, the sons of Merari. Mali, and Mushi, the sons of Mali. Eliezer, and Kish, and Eliezer died, and had no sons, but daughters, and their brethren the sons of Kish took them, the sons of Mushi. Mali, and Eder, and Jeremoth, three, these are the sons of Levi after the house of their fathers. Even the chief of the fathers, as they were counted by number of names by their poles, that did the work for the service of the house of the Lord, from the age of twenty years and upward. For David said, The Lord God of Israel hath given rest unto his people, that they may dwell in Jerusalem forever, and also unto the Levites. They shall no more carry the tabernacle, nor any vessels of it for the service thereof. For by the last words of David the Levites were numbered from twenty years old and above, because their office was to wait on the sons of Aaron for the service of the house of the Lord, in the courts, and in the chambers, and in the purifying of all holy things, and the work of the service of the house of God, both for the showbread, and for the fine flour for meat offering, and for the unleavened cakes, and for that which is baked in the pan, and for that which is fried, and for all manner of measure and size, and to stand every morning to thank and praise the Lord, and likewise even, and to offer all burnt sacrifices unto the Lord in the Sabbaths, in the new moons, and on the set feasts, by number, according to the order commanded unto them, continually before the Lord, and that they should keep the charge of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the charge of the holy place, and the charge of the sons of Aaron their brethren, in the service of the house of the Lord. 1 Chronicles 24 Now these are the divisions of the sons of Aaron, the sons of Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eliezer, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died before their father, and had no children. Therefore Eliezer and Ithamar executed the priest's office, and David distributed them, both Zadok of the sons of Eliezer, and Ahimelech of the sons of Ithamar, according to their offices in their service. And there were more chief men found of the sons of Eliezer than of the sons of Ithamar. And thus were they divided. Among the sons of Eliezer there were sixteen chief men of the house of their fathers, and eight among the sons of Ithamar according to the house of their fathers. Thus were they divided by lot, one sort with another. For the governors of the sanctuary, and governors of the house of God, were of the sons of Eliezer, and of the sons of Ithamar, and Shemaiah the son of Nathaniel the scribe, one of the Levites, wrote them before the king, and the princes, and Zadok the priest, and Ahimelech the son of Abiathar, and before the chief of the fathers of the priests and Levites, one principal household being taken for Eliezer, and one taken for Ithamar. Now the first lot came forth to Jehoarab, the second to Jedaya, the third to Haram, the fourth to Zerim, the fifth to Malkijah, the sixth to Mishman, the seventh to Hakos, the eighth to Abijah, the ninth to Joshua, the tenth to Shekania, the eleventh to Elijah. Shib, the twelfth to Jakim, the thirteenth to Hubba, the fourteenth to Jeshabib, the fifteenth to Bilgah, the sixteenth to Immer, the seventeenth to Hezer, the eighteenth to Asses, the nineteenth to Pethahiah, the twentieth to Jehazekel, the one and twentieth to Jachin, the two and twentieth to Gamal, the three and twentieth to Delia, the four and twentieth to Messiah. These are the orderings of them in their service to come into the house of the Lord, according to their manner, under Aaron their father, as the Lord God of Israel had commanded him, and the rest of the sons of Levi were these of the sons of Amram. Shabael, of the sons of Shabael. Jaya, concerning Rehabiah, of the sons of Rehabiah, the first was Ishiah, of the Ishharites. Shalemoth, of the sons of Shalemoth. 
Jahath, and the sons of Hebron. Jeriah the first, Amariah the second, Jahaziel the third, Jechamim the fourth, of the sons of Aziel. Micha, of the sons of Micha. Shamir, the brother of Micha was Ishiah, of the sons of Ishiah. Zechariah, the sons of Merari were Mali and Mushi, the sons of Josiah. Bano, the sons of Merari by Josiah. Bano, and Shalom, and Zachar, and Ibri, of Mali came Eliezer, who had no sons, concerning Kish. The son of Kish was Jeramiel, the sons also of Mushi. Mali, and Eder, and Jeremoth, these are the sons of the Levites after the house of their fathers. These likewise cast lots over against their brethren the sons of Aaron in the presence of David the king, and Zadok, and Ahimelech, and the chief of the fathers of the priests and Levites, even the principal fathers over against their younger brethren. 1 Chronicles 25 Moreover David and the captains of the host separated to the service of the sons of Asaph, and of Henan, and of Jeduthun, who should prophesy with harps, with psalteries, and with cymbals, and the number of the workmen according to their service was, of the sons of Asaph. Zachar, and Joseph, and Nethaniah, and Asarilla, the sons of Asaph under the hands of Asaph, which prophesied according to the order of the king, of Jeduthun, the sons of Jeduthun, Gedalia, and Ziri, and Jeshaya, Hashabiah, and Matithia, six, under the hands of their father Jeduthun, who prophesied with a harp, to give thanks and to praise the Lord, of Heman, the sons of Heman, Bukiah, Matania, Aziel, Shebuel, and Jeremoth, Hananiah, Hanani, Elithah, Jedalti, and Ramonchezer, Joshua Kasha, Malathi, Hothir, and Mahazioth, all these are the sons of Heman the king's seer in the words of God, to lift up the horn. And God gave to Heman fourteen sons and three daughters. All these were under the hands of their father for song in the house of the Lord, with cymbals, psalteries, and harps, for the service of the house of God, according to the king's order to Asaph, Jeduthun, and Heman. So the number of them, with their brethren that were instructed in the songs of the Lord, even all that were cunning, was two hundred four score and eight. And they cast lots, ward against ward, as well the small as the great, the teacher as the scholar. Now the first lot came forth for Asaph to Joseph, the second to Gedaliah, who with his brethren and sons were twelve. The third to Zachar, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The fourth to Isri, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The fifth to Nethaniah, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The sixth to Bukiah, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The seventh to Jesherla, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The eighth to Jesheya, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The ninth to Mataniah, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The tenth to Shimei, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The eleventh to Azrael, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The twelfth to Hashabiah, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The thirteenth to Shabael, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The fourteenth to Matithia, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The fifteenth to Jeremoth, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The sixteenth to Hananiah, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The seventeenth to Joshua Kasha, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The eighteenth to Hunani, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The nineteenth to Malathi, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The twentieth to Elitha, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The one and twentieth to Hothir, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The two and twentieth to Jadalti, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The three and twentieth to Mahazioth, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. The four and twentieth to Ramonchezer, he, his sons, and his brethren, were twelve. 1 Chronicles 26 Concerning the divisions of the porters, of the Kurhites was Meshalemia the son of Kor, of the sons of Asaph. And the sons of Meshalemia were, Zechariah the firstborn, Jeliel the second, Zebediah the third, Jathniel the fourth, Elim the fifth, Jehonah the sixth, Elini the seventh. Moreover the sons of Abedim were, Shemaiah the firstborn, Jehoshaphat the second, Joah the third, and Sekar the fourth, and Nathaniel the fifth. Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, Kilpi the eighth, for God blessed him. Also unto Shemaiah his son were sons born, that ruled throughout the house of their father. For they were mighty men of Ur, the sons of Shemaiah. Ophni, and Raphael, and Obed, Elzabad, whose brethren were strong men, Elihu, and Semachiah, all these of the sons of Abedidim, they and their sons and their brethren, able men for strength for the service, were three score and two of Abedidim, and Meshulimia had sons and brethren, strong men, eighteen, also Hosa, of the children of Merari, had sons. Simri the chief, for though he was not the firstborn, yet his father made him the chief, Hilkiah the second, Tebaliah the third, Zechariah the fourth, all the sons and brethren of Hosea were thirteen, among these are the divisions of the porters, even among the chief men, having wards one against another, to minister in their house of the Lord, and they cast lots, as well the small as the great, according to the house of their fathers, for every gate, and the lot eastward fell to Shalemia, then for Zechariah his son, a wise counselor, they cast lots, and his lot came out northward, to Abedim southward, and to his sons the house of Asapim, to Shuppim and Hosea the lot came forth westward, with the gate Shalekath, by the causeway of the going up, ward against ward. Eastward were six Levites, northward for a day, southward for a day, and toward Asapim two and two, at Parbar westward, four at the causeway, and two at Parbar. These are the divisions of the porters among the sons of Kor, and among the sons of Merari, and of the Levites. Ahijah was over the treasures of the house of God, and over the treasures of the dedicated things, as concerning the sons of Laden. The sons of the Gershonite Laden, chief fathers, even of Laden the Gershonite, or Jahili, the sons of Jahili. 
Zetim, and Joel his brother, which were over the treasures of the house of the Lord, of the Amorites, and the Ishmaelites, the Hebronites, and the Uzzelites. And Shebuel the son of Gershom, the son of Moses, was ruler of the treasures, and his brethren by Eliezer. Rehabiah his son, and Jeshaiah his son, and Joram his son, and Zikri his son, and Shalemith his son. But Shalemith and his brethren were over all the treasures of the dedicated things, which David the king, and the chief fathers, the captains over thousands and hundreds, and the captains of the host, had dedicated. Out of the spoils what in battles did they dedicate to maintain the house of the Lord? And all that Samuel the seer, and Saul the son of Kish, and Abner the son of Ner, and Job the son of Zeruiah, had dedicated. And whosoever had dedicated anything, it was under the hand of Shalemith, and of his brethren. Of the Israelites, Shenaniah and his sons were for the outward business over Israel, for officers and judges. And of the Hebronites, Hashabiah and his brethren, men of Valur, a thousand and seven hundred, were officers among them of Israel on this side Jordan westward in all the business of the Lord, and in the service of the king. Among the Hebronites was Jerijah the chief, even among the Hebronites, according to the generations of his fathers. In the fortieth year of the reign of David they were sought for, and there were found among them mighty men of Valur at Jazer of Gilead. And his brethren, men of Valur, were two thousand and seven hundred chief fathers, whom King David made rulers over the Reubenites, the Goodites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, for every matter pertaining to God, and affairs of the king. 1 Chronicles 27 now the children of Israel after their number, to wit, the chief fathers and captains of thousands and hundreds, and their officers that serve the king in any matter of the courses, which came in and went out month by month throughout all the months of the year, of every course were twenty and four thousand. Over the first course for the first month was Jashabim the son of Zabul, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. Of the children of Perez was the chief of all the captains of the host for the first month. And over the course of the second month was Dodau and Ahite, and of his course was Mekoth also the ruler. In his course likewise were twenty and four thousand. The third captain of the host for the third month was Binah the son of Jehada, a chief priest, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. This is that Binah, who was mighty among the thirty, and above the thirty, and in his course was Amazabit his son. The fourth captain for the fourth month was Asahel the brother of Job, and Zebediah his son after him, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The fifth captain for the fifth month was Shabuk the Izrahite, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The sixth captain for the sixth month was Ira the son of Akesh the Tekwit, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The seventh captain for the seventh month was Elias the Pelonite, of the children of Ephraim, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The eighth captain for the eighth month was Sibikai the Hushadite, of the Zerhites, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The ninth captain for the ninth month was Abizer the Anedodite, of the Benjamites, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The tenth captain for the tenth month was Maharai the Natophadite, of the Zerhites, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The eleventh captain for the eleventh month was Bana the Pyrethonite, of the children of Ephraim, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The twelfth captain for the twelfth month was held out in a Tophadite, of Othniel, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. Furthermore over the tribes of Israel, the ruler of the Rodanites was Eliezer the son of Zikri, of the Simeonites, Shetatai the son of Masha, of the Levites, Hashabiah the son of Kemuel, of the Aronites, Zadok, of Judah, Elihu, one of the brethren of David, of Issachar, Amri the son of Michael, of Zebulun, Ishmael the son of Obadiah, of Naphtali, Jeremoth the son of Azrael, of the children of Ephraim, Hashi the son of Azaziah, of the half-tribe of Manasseh, Joel the son of Padaiah, of the half-tribe of Manasseh and Gilead, Ido the son of Zechariah, of Benjamin, Josiel the son of Abner, of Dan, Azrael the son of Jerubim. These were the princes of the tribes of Israel. But David took not the number of them from twenty years old and under, because the Lord had said he would increase Israel like to the stars of the heavens. Job the son of Zeruiah began to number, but he finished not, because there fell wrath for it against Israel. Neither was the number put in the account of the chronicles of King David. And over the king's treasures was Asmoveth the son of Adil, and over the storehouses in the fields, in the cities, and in the villages, and in the castles, was Jonathan the son of Uzziah. And over them that did the work of the field for tillage of the ground was Ezri the son of Chelub. And over the vineyards was Shimei the Ramadite. Over the increase of the vineyards for the wine cellars was Zabdi the Shipmite. And over the olive trees and the sycamore trees that were in the low plains was Balhanim the Gedarite. And over the cellars of oil was Josh. And over the herds that fed in Sharon was Shitri the Sharonite. And over the herds that were in the valleys was Shaphat the son of Adlai. Over the camels also was Obel the Ishmaelite. And over the asses was Jediah the Maronite. And over the flocks was Jazz the Hagrite. All these are the rulers of the substance which was King David's. Also Jonathan David's uncle was a counselor, a wise man, and a scribe. And Jehiel the son of Hamoni was with the king's sons. And Ahithophel was the king's counselor. And Hashari the archite was the king's companion. And after Ahithophel was Jehada the son of Nah, and Abiathar. And the general of the king's army was Job. 1 Chronicles 28. And David assembled all the princes of Israel, the princes of the tribes, and the captains of the companies that ministered to the king by course, and the captains over the thousands, and captains over the hundreds, and the stewards over all the substance and possession of the king, and of his sons, with the officers and with the mighty men, and with all the valiant men, unto Jerusalem. Then David the king stood up upon his feet, and said, Hear me, my brethren, and my people, as for me, I had in mine heart to build an house of rest for the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and for the footstool of our God, and had made ready for the building. But God said unto me, Thou shalt not build an house from my name, because thou hast been a man of war, and hast shed blood. Howbeit the Lord God of Israel chose me before all the house of my father to be king over Israel for ever, for he hath chosen Judah to be the ruler, and of the house of Judah, the house of my father. 
and among the sons of my father he liked me to make me king over all Israel, and of all my sons, for the Lord hath given me many sons. He hath chosen Solomon my son to sit upon the throne of the kingdom of the Lord over Israel. And he said unto me, Solomon thy son, he shall build my house and my courts, for I have chosen him to be my son, and I will be his father. Moreover I will establish his kingdom forever, if he be constant to do my commandments and my judgments, as at this day. Now therefore in the sight of all Israel the congregation of the Lord, and in the audience of our God, keep and seek for all the commandments of the Lord your God, that ye may possess this good land, and leave it for an inheritance for your children after you forever. And thou, Solomon my son, know thou the God of thy father, and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind, for the Lord searcheth all hearts, and understandeth all the imaginations of the thoughts. If thou seek him, he will be found of thee. But if thou forsake him, he will cast thee off forever. Take heed now. For the Lord hath chosen thee to build an house for the sanctuary, be strong, and do it. Then David gave to Solomon his son the pattern of the porch, and of the houses thereof, and of the treasuries thereof, and of the upper chambers thereof, and of the inner parlors thereof, and of the place of the mercy seat, and the pattern of all that he had by the Spirit, of the courts of the house of the Lord, and of all the chambers round about, of the treasuries of the house of God, and of the treasuries of the dedicated things, also for the courses of the priests and the Levites, and for all the work of the service of the house of the Lord, and for all the vessels of service in the house of the Lord. He gave of gold by way for things of gold, for all instruments of all manner of service. Silver also for all instruments of silver by weight, for all instruments of every kind of service, even the way for the candlesticks of gold, and for their lamps of gold, by weight for every candlestick, and for the lamps thereof, and for the candlesticks of silver by weight, both for the candlestick, and also for the lamps thereof, according to the use of every candlestick, and by weight he gave gold for the tables of showbread, for every table. And likewise silver for the tables of silver, also pure gold for the flesh hooks, and the bowls, and the cups, and for the golden basins he gave gold by weight for every basin. And likewise silver by weight for every basin of silver, and for the altar of incense refined gold by weight. And gold for the pattern of the chariot of the Kerubims, that spread out their wings, and covered the ark of the covenant of the Lord. All this, said David, the Lord made me understand in writing by his hand upon me, even all the works of this pattern. And David said to Solomon his son, Be strong and of good courage, and do it fear not, nor be dismayed, for the Lord God, even my God, will be with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee, until thou hast finished all the work for the service of the house of the Lord. And, behold, the courses of the priests and the Levites, even they shall be with thee for all the service of the house of God. And there shall be with thee for all manner of workmanship every willing skillful man, for any manner of service, also the princes and all the people will be holy at thy commandment. 1 Chronicles 29 Furthermore David the king said unto all the congregation, Solomon my son, whom alone God hath chosen, is yet young and tender, and the work is great, for the palace is not for man, but for the Lord God. Now I have prepared with all my might for the house of my God the gold for things to to be made of gold, and the silver for things of silver, and the brass for things of brass, the iron for things of iron, and wood for things of wood, onyx stones, and stones to be set, glistering stones, and of divers colors, and all manner of precious stones, and marble stones in abundance. Moreover, because I have set my affection to the house of my God, I have of mine own proper good, of gold and silver, which I have given to the house of my God, over and above all that I have prepared for the holy house, even three thousand talents of gold, of the gold of Uther, and seven thousand talents of refined silver, to overlay the walls of the houses with all, the gold for things of gold, and the silver for things of silver, and for all manner of work to be made by the hands of artificers. And who then is willing to consecrate his service this day unto the Lord? Then the chief of the fathers and princes of the tribes of Israel, and the captains of thousands and of hundreds, with the rulers of the king's work, offered willingly, and gave for the service of the house of God of gold five thousand talents and ten thousand drams, and of silver ten thousand talents, and of brass eighteen thousand talents, and one hundred thousand talents of iron. And they with whom precious stones were found gave them to the treasure of the house of the Lord, by the hand of Jehiel the Gershonite. Then the people rejoiced, for that they offered willingly, because with perfect heart they offered willingly to the Lord. And David the king also rejoiced with great joy. Wherefore David blessed the Lord before all the congregation, and David said, Blessed be thou, Lord God of Israel our Father, for ever and ever. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness, and the power, and the glory, and the victory, and the majesty, for all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come of thee, and thou reignest over all. And in thine hand is power and might. And in thine hand it is to make great, and to give strength unto all. Now therefore, our God, we thank thee, and praise thy glorious name. But who am I, and what is my people, that we should be able to offer so willingly after this sort? For all things come of thee, and of thine own have we given thee. For we are strangers before thee, and sojourners, as were all our fathers, our days on the earth are as a shadow, and there is none abiding. O Lord our God, all this store that we have prepared to build thee an house for thine holy name cometh of thine hand, and is all thy own. I know also, my God, that thou tryst the heart, and hast pleasure in uprightness. As for me, in the uprightness of mine heart I have willingly offered all these things, and now have I seen with joy thy people, which are present here, to offer willingly unto thee, O Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, our fathers, keep this forever in the imagination of the thoughts of the heart of thy people, and prepare their heart unto thee, and give unto Solomon my son a perfect heart, to keep thy commandments, thy testimonies, and thy statutes, and to do all these things, and to build the palace, for the which I have made provision. And David said to all the congregation, Now bless the Lord your God. 
and all the congregation blessed the Lord God of their fathers, and bowed down their heads, and worshipped the Lord, and the king. And they sacrificed sacrifices unto the Lord, and offered burnt offerings unto the Lord. On the morrow after that day, even a thousand bullocks, a thousand rams, and a thousand lambs, with their drink offerings, and sacrifices in abundance for all Israel, and did eat and drink before the Lord on that day with great gladness. And they made Solomon the son of David king the second time, and anointed him unto the Lord to be the chief governor, and Zadok to be priest. Then Solomon sat on the throne of the Lord as king instead of David his father, and prospered. And all Israel obeyed him, and all the princes, and the mighty men, and all the sons likewise of King David, submitted themselves unto Solomon the king. And the Lord magnified Solomon exceedingly in the sight of all Israel, and bestowed upon him such royal majesty as had not been on any king before him in Israel. Thus David the son of Jesse reigned over all Israel, and the time that he reigned over Israel was forty years. Seven years reigned he in Hebron, and thirty and three years reigned he in Jerusalem. And he died in a good old age, full of days, riches, and honor. And Solomon his son reigned in his stead. Now the acts of David the king, first and last, behold, they are written in the book of Samuel the seer, and in the book of Nathan the prophet, and in the book of Gad the seer, with all his reign and his might, and the times that went over him, and over Israel, and over all the kingdoms of the countries.